Some days ago, some uh, buddy in the forum added asked to to get a uh, how to add cascading select questions. Uh, this is described already in the in the support of Kobo Toolbox, but I'm going to make a. Um, maybe um, uh, a bit tutorial so if you are not okay. uh, following what is uh, exactly said here you can just visualize it in the computer so the first thing i have done is create the list as tino uh, says that you have to do it so you have list name name label in this case country and region and then for the for this list i'm going to add only three countries spain united kingdom and france and then I would type different regions for different for each country. So for Spain, I wrote four regions, La Rioja, País Vasco, Cantabria, and other. For the UK, I write Milton, uh, London, Milton Keynes, and other. And then for France, I wrote uh, Paris, Nord, et Avignon. And then there would be a list of cities that goes along with each of the regions, like La Rioja, that I add for Spain, País Vasco will get another two, Bilbao and Vitoria. Cantabria will get Santander and Lierganes, and other, and then so on and so on and so on, right? So once you have uh, created your hierarchy, which in this case is country, and then region, and then village, and you have stated the relationship here, so La Rioja, uh, so, uh, sorry, Logroño is related to La Rioja, and in the end, uh, La Rioja, which is here, is related to Spain. You will be able to filter once you click in the country in Spain. You would only get País Vasco, Cantabria, and other. And once you click in La Rioja, you would only get Logroño and Aro. Okay, so what he says that we need to do is just copy this whole table where you could even have further, you could have regions, you have you could have neighborhoods and streets if you want so you can go even farther in the in the cascade select but i'm just going to do two steps as a, as a referral so once we have done that we copy this link with the, with this uh, table by control right control click and then copy or control z and then i would go to a brand new uh, test uh, so a, a new a new form and I will edit it. In this case, it says insert cascading select. You click there and then you paste the text, right? If I if I paste something that is not making any sense like this, it says post paste your formatted table from the from the link from the box in the box. Sorry. And then if I copy something that is OK, it will automatically recognize it because it has one, two, three, four, five. And then it knows what to do. If you have more more questions, you can go always to the to this link, and it will open the link from uh, from the Kobo Toolbox uh, support page. In this case, as uh, as we're doing here, I um, I'll click done, and then you can see here, and it recognizes country, region, and village. And then if you just yes, review the form, you will have. A, a region, uh, sorry, first country, but no region and village because this is because we haven't selected yet. Once we click Spain, we get La Rioja, País Vasco, Cantabria, or other. And once we click other, we can also click this other one. So it all comes all right. Uh, if I go to the United Kingdoms, I have Milton Keynes or other. And if I go to France, I only get these three. As you see in Spain, I get other region in the United Kingdom. I get other region in France. I don't get other region. This is because in the table uh, I have in Spain, I have other in the UK. I have other, but in France, I don't have other. I only have these three. So this is why uh, we can save this because it's working fine. And then according to Tino, you can change here, select country and then the important thing is that this is what needs to match the data column name so as long as the data column name matches with what is written in um, in here 
and in here it will be okay so if we preview we can now have select so I have a type of select country and then still the same uh, we could even change here select sorry maybe if I just remove everything select region that's what he does I think in the tutorial he proposes and then no it changed again so I just changed like like this it has to be under cap if it's with no cap capitals here all right and then if we preview we should still have yeah select country select region and village so uh, this is the visual way to do it there is another way that he describes in the um, how to do it in the xls form i used to do it with the xls form until i just tried this other version and i think it's much simpler in this way so I would recommend that you stick to, to this way of, of doing the cascade and select. So just to recap, what you need to do is create a list. Like what you need to have is list name, name, label, country and region, or it could be a uh, favorite animal and then breed of favorite animal and then whatever. Uh, and then you populate it. You populate the, the list with countries and then the name and the label and then the regions for the countries that you have described and then the villages. As you can see, region here is empty and country here is empty because the relationship is that the village is countries give you the region and region give you the village. So country don't give you a village. Country gives you a region and region gives you a village. And I think with that, uh, you should be sorted out. Please let me know if you have any doubts.